Poverty has been a major driving force behind the protests and the demonstrations in Egypt. But in order to get a clearer picture, you really need to see the conditions some Egyptians are living in. Nadia Bilchik is joining me now. And these conditions really are just horrific to think that this is how so many of these people well, live. This is a particular community in those pictures. It's called Garbage City. And the, there are many garbage cities in Cairo. We're looking at the biggest one. And the people who run it and inhabit it are the Coptic Christians, or known as the Zabaline, which means garbage garbage collectors. But the history here is so extraordinary because up until around 2004, and this is a beautiful piece you're looking at now where the man says there are the upper class, there are the middle class, and then there are us, the Zabaline, the nothings. They live among the garbage. Well, we are the nothings, they call themselves. Mm. But what's extraordinary is up until 2004, they made a living by recycling 80% of the garbage they collected. They were the recyclers, that's what they did. Well, in 2004, the Egyptian government brought in big multinationals to sort the garbage. You're looking at a woman now who is sorting the garbage. This is her job. This is the job of her children. This is the job of the family. They recycle 80% or did into raw materials. They make hangers. They make toys. But now with the multinationals coming in, it's affected these garbage collectors and their livelihood. So this beautiful documentary made by a very talented filmmaker, Maya Skanda, actually documents the lives of three boys who start up in the garbage trade. They are Zabaline garbage collectors. We've seen these pictures of these young children climbing among the garbage, among all of the rejects, the toys, the bottles, yes. the junk. They're born into it and they know they are the garbage collectors. So often what they do is live in two-story homes where they live in the upper story and in the lower stories they sort the trash. That's their job. They are the waste management system of Cairo. And it still is an income for them? It still works? It's a reduced income with the multinationals having come in. They are still making some money, but the poverty has increased. We know that over 40% of Egyptians live under the poverty right. line. They earn about, what, $4 a day or it's something like that? Extraordinary limited amounts. And in fact, in this beautiful documentary, and it's on garbagedreams.com, the father says, my son can work 24 hours a day and he will never make a living. Mm, Thinking is, about that, very poignant. So disturbing. Well, you can certainly understand why there's so much anger and why so many protesters are saying they want their lives back, they want their rights back. Nadia Bilchik, thank you.